Hey you guys, so I'm sorry that I can't yell at you right now, but my kids are in the other room. It's actually a weekday. Happy Wednesday. We are doing something that we I don't think I have ever done, and this is go out midweek to a brand dinner. Um, normally these things are like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I miss out on all the fun, but for the first time ever, I got the courage to get a babysitter. I feel weird. It's not even like a babysitter. She's like a friend of the family. Like she's so close. She is family But I'm actually going out on a weeknight and leaving my babies. It's weird. I know it feels weird Anyway, so pixie beauty is actually hosting a dinner um, here in Dallas to announce uh, One of their latest beauty launches. I actually have no idea about it but I really really try to engage at these Dallas events because everyone that goes is local. So it's a really good opportunity to meet other girls that are in the same field as I am. Um, so that's really, really exciting. I have a little creeper. I was trying to be quiet. Apparently I wasn't quiet enough. So it's six o'clock. It's gonna take me about 45 to 50 minutes to get there. Um, it's at seven, but I need to get on the road now. Before I do that, I need to show you guys an outfit of the day. A midweek dinner calls for a super boring outfit, so uh, my eyes are tired, hence the glasses. My feet are tired, hence the flats. Uh, and this is what we're working with. And I know you guys are gonna ask me about my nails. This is KL Polish in Jane. I'm on the fence about it. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments if you like it or not. Um, it's like a muted, burnt raspberry type shade. I thought it was gonna be like Berries and the Canaries by OPI, which is one of my favorite all time nail polish colors ever. But y'all know the drill. I have a discount code. You don't need to use it, but you save some money. It is an affiliate code, so thanks in advance. And it's Danny. I love you guys, I'll see you soon. We're about to hang out with Pixie. It's seven o'clock, so I just got to the Pixie event, and um, everything is so cute and makes you want to fall. It's all adorable. I mean, from Edison bulbs to cute little floral displays. Do you guys just want me to show you? You're like, enough of this. Show me this. So we have a little swatch station here. This is part of the new collection. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so they have new skincare launching, and these are a bunch of their new releases. <laughs> Look at how cute the little table is. Look at that. It's like a beautiful little Parisian garden setting. We have a, our own little mirrors. So we can try the new um, matte liquid lipsticks. Um, but let me show you guys something. Look at that. Huh. Someone's gonna sit next to me. So that's where I sit. Yay. Hey you guys, it is 8. 45 I'm actually leaving the restaurant now um I'm a little bit behind schedule uh I'm so nervous like I told you guys I wasn't um I've never left my kids with the sitter so it feels weird like I'm doing something naughty I am so glad I came you guys because I got to meet Leanne from Leanne says one of <sighs> my favorite youtubers ever um, I was very careful not to fangirl uh, when I met her but um, she's kind of a supermodel like Victoria's Secret Angel supermodel from her face to her skin to her height to her body like in the weirdest most awkward creepy way possible that I could be describing her she's perfection um, same same personality in real life, same beautiful, bubbly personality, positive energy. It was just, it was a great night. Pixie hosted an amazing event. It was just beautifully elegant and simple and just what it needed to be. Like these are the types of events that I could totally go to. Um, just classic and elegant and beautiful and I loved it. Um, but yeah, it's almost nine o'clock. I'm heading home. It's gonna take me a hot minute to get home. Um, I am very excited that Leanne moved to Dallas because now I'm going to figure out a way to make her my friend. <laughs> I should, I should better not watch this vlog. <laughs> but you guys, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I will leave a link to her channel in the description of this video. Uh, such a sweet girl. I really had a great time. I hate that I had to leave before everyone else, but you know, mama first. 
So tomorrow, tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow we're going to a movie premiere. My boys go to their dad's house tomorrow. So me and the boyfriend are going to watch, um, we're gonna go to a private movie screening, which I'm looking forward to um, on uh, Thursday. And then Friday, you guys, Wesley's having his birthday party at Mr. Pitt's Adventure Camp. So I'm gonna bring you guys along to Wesley's birthday party. Mr. Pitt is one of the sweetest men I know. Him and his wife are awesome, amazing, sweet, wonderful people. And they wanna throw him a birthday party. So we're all gonna go uh, to his adventure camp and throw him a little, a little birthday party. I don't know what's going on this weekend. Um, Saturday or Sunday or whatever, but y'all are coming along. We're vlogging. This is going to be an extra long vlog because I started vlogging on Wednesday. I hope it doesn't offend you guys. Anyway, I got to go because I got to pay attention and I like to live, um, but I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey you guys, happy Thursday. It's six o'clock. Um, Mommy Pearl weekend has officially begun and I have a secret visitor to the center of my forehead. Okay, you guys, I'm tired. I ran errands all day, hardly slept. Look at these panda eyes, massive panda eyes. But we get to go to an awesome private movie screening. Um, probably should have put my face on. So it's six o'clock, we're heading out the door. I think the premiere starts at, or the screening. Is it a movie premiere or a screening? It's a private screening, but I think it's also a premiere. You see the difference? Uh, not that it matters. Um, so the movie screening <laughs> starts at seven and I don't want to put my face on. I know, I probably should. I have respect for you guys, but you've seen me like this plenty of times. But before we head out, I wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day. All right, so we're going to this movie in my Fancy Forever 21 chambray shirt, some black denim and the most amazing heels you've ever seen in your life. Here's a better shot. This is my mommy makeup. I actually washed my hair for you guys though. Chambray shirt, just some black denim, and look at these shoes, aren't they cute? I got them at DSW. Do I get my shoes any other place besides DSW? These are the same cut style, heel height, and everything as the leopard ones that I always wear. They're from Jessica Simpson. Um, and we will not talk about the state of my feet. You guys, from like, mid um, shin down, I'm covered in bug bites. I don't know what's going on. Apparently October is like the worst bug season in Dallas. It's not October yet, so they missed the memo. Hey you guys, it's seven o'clock. So we got here early. We're sitting at the bar. We decided to come get a cocktail. This may or may not be a dirty martini. And we got to the, <laughs> you wanna say hi? <laughs> we got to the um, the guy with the list for the movie screening, and he's like, "What's your name?" So I tell him my name, and he checks his list for like ten seconds, and he's like, "You're not on the list." And I was like, "Do you just do you want to go?" <laughs> How am I not on the list? I was like, I helped make the list. It's a little embarrassing. So now I'm like, do I just sit here and keep nursing this cocktail and it's brother and sister that are coming right after it? Or do I actually go watch the movie? What do you guys think? This doesn't help that it's raining a lot outside. I hope this movie's good. I do get free popcorn and soda though. But since there's two of us, we get two popcorns and two sodas. Just saying. Hey, hey you guys, happy Friday. It's nine o'clock. Okay, you guys, I promise the entire vlog isn't gonna be just me sitting here on my bed telling you about my day. <laughs> so, okay, yesterday we go to Look Cinemas, which is, um, a movie theater in Addison, and uh, they play a lot of indie films. I don't know, I think this is an independent film. Um, I know Amazon uh, Amazon Pictures or Amazon Studio is the one that um, did this film. It's called Life Itself, and I realized as I vlog like the two previous bits um, about this movie screening that I never said the name of the movie. <laughs> So this movie's life itself uh, with Olivia Wilde and Oscar Isaac, um, Annette Bening is in it. Um, and so 
I saw the trailer completely on accident when I was on uh, YouTube watching someone's videos and it, it kind of did a little preview of it um, and it completely piqued my interest so I went and I saw the whole thing. I watch uh, movie previews and movie commercials on TV all the time. I get these little uh, ads on YouTube when I'm watching YouTube videos all the time and I'll watch a trailer or two and I'll be like, oh that's a cool movie. I'll see it if it ever comes up that I need to see it. But I'm never, ever, ever the person that's like, you guys, next Friday, it's ABC movie. I need to go see it. I'm gonna be there getting a movie ticket. I'm not that girl. I like to go to the movies, but I'll never be the one that says, let's go to the movies. For me to wanna see a movie as bad as I wanted to see this movie, it's gonna be a special movie. So when my friend Rupert, I just ate bacon, and for some reason, every time I eat bacon, it's so salty that I have to go, <coughs> So excuse me, but are you jealous? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, um, so Rupert was like, hey, um, we're gonna do a special private screening. Do you wanna come? And I have extra tickets if you wanna do like a post on your Instagram. I was like, uh, wait, you're giving me extra passes for my pandas to go? Yeah. So um, uh, it was, it was amazing. My favorite movie ever is Love Actually. That's like my number one movie that I can watch it when it's on TV halfway started and still still watch it. Or I could just watch a little bit of it and I'll be okay. Or I could watch it during the holiday season every single time it's on TV. I have it myself so sometimes I'm in the Love Actually mood um, and I want to see it. Love Love Actually. But I think one of the primary reasons why I like that movie is because that's the type of movie that I like to see. When you see separate stories or lives or characters and then somehow they all come together at the end. Those movies for me give me such a satisfying feeling where you see all these stories and you have no idea how they're gonna connect and they just all come together. Now, I don't wanna ruin the movie for you I'm the girl that asks 42 questions when she's watching a movie because I want it to get ruined. Like, I wanna know ahead of time. I'm still gonna watch it, but I wanna know. But I know most people don't, so I'm not gonna ruin it at all for you, but it's basically a movie that, it's basically a movie about love. It's a, a movie about love, all kinds of love, just love in general and the force that it is. Um, and how it's unlike anything else in this world. You guys, I bawled the entire movie. When my boyfriend showed up to pick me up, I was like, I'm very tired. I don't wanna do my makeup. I'm a little embarrassed that you look so handsome, but this is how I'm gonna roll. So glad I didn't do my makeup, you guys. I bawled the entire movie. Bawled, like full on ugly Kim Kardashian cried at the theater. Pretty sure everyone else did too. Um, such, a great movie. If you like those movies that are all about the feels, you need to get you need to get out and you need to see it. And when it comes out, you need to buy it. Um, it's I'm pretty sure it replaced Love Actually, and that's a big statement. Love Actually has been my favorite movie since I was 20. So you do the math. 14 years. <laughs> You guys, it's so good, oh my God. The one thing, the one thing as a reviewer that I do have to say, and reviewer of makeup, not cinematography, the one thing I have to say is half of the movie's in Spanish. I didn't know this going in. It has subtitles and it's super easy to follow along. Um, I asked my boyfriend, I was like, yo, was that, are you okay with that? He was like, oh no, yeah, it was totally fine. I got the whole thing, it was fine. I, it, it wasn't like, oh, subtitles, it was fine. So um, half of the movie's in Spanish, um, but for me as a like, my first language is Spanish, I didn't even notice. It was funny because the movie all of a sudden changes into Spanish speaking uh, characters and I was like, mm, just following along, oh yeah, okay, cool. And then I was like, wait a minute, they're talking Spanish. <laughs> Why are they speaking in Spanish? But the movie, you guys, highly, highly recommend it. It's such, you guys know I'm such a sucker for feelings and just reflecting. And the other day I asked you guys to do an activity with me on Instagram and I said, hey, look, I was 
just realizing that October's around the corner, the year is almost over, send me a list of what is on your end of the year bucket list. What do you wanna do before the year is over? And I don't mean like climb Mount Everest or get my college degree. No, I mean like, what is gonna make you happy? In the next three months, like what is that stuff that you're like, well, I think it's kind of stupid, but that's the stuff I want to hear about. And so on my list, I shared with you guys, like, I want to go ice skating. I want to see snow. I want to try a pumpkin spice latte. Don't judge me. I've never tried one. Um, like, that was my list. There's no gauge uh, to say what's more important than, than, than something else. You know, it's what's important to you. So it's important for me to try a pumpkin spice latte because everyone talks about it and I'm getting FOMO. It's been long enough that I've held out this long, you know? So a lot of you guys were like, oh, I can't wait to see my parents or I can't wait to have my baby. She's due on Christmas. Congratulations. Um, so, oh, someone said, I want to learn to drive stick. I was like, yes, girl, me too. But I'm left-handed, so that'll probably never happen. So it was really nice to see you guys um, share that with me. So yeah, I'm all about stuff that that matters. The other day, um, Parker and I were having a conversation um, and I got um, offered a contract, like a job, a sponsorship. But the turnaround was in two days. And I was telling him, I said, I don't do um, sponsorships with a really short turnaround time because I get anxious. Um, I get anxious because I like to do a really good job. And when the timeline is so short, it gives me, uh, it's too stressful. You know, I feel like I'm not doing the best that I can do and I don't like myself when I do that. So I was telling him about a few years ago that I turned down a contract that was just an insane amount of money, like an insane, insane amount of money, but they needed the turnaround in 48 hours. And I said, I turned it down because money is not important to me. It's how I feel along the way and if it carries a significance to me if it if it matters if it's important um, for me for my life for my friends for my family for my health like is that something that is is good for me the money doesn't mean anything right and he was like mm -hmm. like I think he had trouble understanding what I was trying to say um, and so I got really quiet and I said I know I'm stupid I probably should have done it um, because as much as I'm like a feelings person, like an emo monologue person, and I like to express myself and I like to live my life, um, fulfilling, um, fulfilling my happiness and happiness for others and, and just not wasting time on things that don't matter. Um, he said, no, no, you're, you're not stupid at all. Actually. Um, I just, I don't think I've, ever heard anyone say that, you know? And I told him, I said, look, I, I could die tomorrow and I'm not gonna take that check with me. I uh, could lose it all tomorrow. And if I'm not comfortable with me, with my life, with the way I am, and I'm not able to find happiness in a different way, what's the point, you know? So my whole idea is I can't buy time. So my time on this earth, it's gonna keep going regardless of what I do. So money's not gonna help me. Making memories is gonna help me. Being happy is gonna help me, you know, with my time on earth. So this movie is just kind of one of those things where you really have to stop questioning why things happen to you. You just have to keep moving forward. You have to remain aware that time is not going to stop for you. Um, and the things that are supposed to happen are going to happen. It's more so how much in control are you of how you react to things? How strong are you to move forward? You know, what's actually important to you? Are you taking advantage of every day in life that you have? Um, and so it was... It was an amazing movie, you guys. All right, you guys, enough of that. Let's get serious for a second. Amazon, call me. Um, today, 
today the boyfriend is working uh it's friday most people are working <laughs> um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna jump in the shower real quick at 11 o'clock mr pitt's gonna come pick up my four doggies um and then around one or two i'm gonna head over to his adventure camp and we're gonna have a birthday party for wesley i know I know, you're coming along, don't worry. You're not missing out on this birthday party action. Uh, I hope Milo's there. You're gonna, if Milo's there, I'm gonna introduce you to Milo. Milo will capture your heart. Milo is a one-eyed dog with the best hair you've ever seen in your life. Like Shaka Khan hair, okay? And he's white, like full on bright white. He looks like a little cloud walking around. So around one or two, we're gonna go to Wesley's birthday party. Uh, then we'll come home. Um, and I think we're gonna go on a date. We haven't gone on like a little one-on-one -on -one dinner date in a while, so I think we might go on a date. So Parker was actually supposed to work until midnight, um, but change of plans. Can't say I'm upset about it. He'll be home sooner, so we'll go on a date. And then tomorrow, it's kind of up in the air because he has to work again, so we'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow, but it's cool. It's our kind of pseudo quality time weekend. So every other weekend is just, it's just the two of us, um, which is nice. We catch up on, you know, like adult stuff. We run errands together and we feel super productive. <laughs> anyway, I gotta jump in the shower and get ready um, and then get some work done before I go to Wesley's birthday party. So gotta make sure I look nice for my son's birthday party. You know what I mean? Hey, you guys. One o'clock, we are heading out the door to go to Wesley's birthday party. He left earlier today, um, so he's had a few hours of fun and adventure with his brother and sisters um, and all the other campers. <laughs> I really hope that big giant dog is there. He is so big. I don't know what breed he is, but he's just massive and I want to touch his paws. Okay, I wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day because it's it's probably very new to you. You've probably never seen this shirt before. This isn't the t-shirt that I'm wearing in every vlog. Okay, it is. It's my $5 t-shirt from Kohl's um, that I have in every color. And then I'm wearing my Parker Smith mom jeans. If you guys like the mom jeans look without wanting the mom jeans, this is the way to go. They're high-waisted, they're super comfortable, and they make my butt look cute. Kind of a priority. So I actually like these tees because they're very thin, very stretchy, very comfortable. You could do like a French tuck and they look cute. They're long enough almost tunic length almost so you can sort of get away with it if you guys are fans of leggings i have my i have my thoughts on leggings okay we're not going to get into it um these are the parker smith jeans i was telling you so you see how they're like a really comfortable inseam um they make my butt look cute cochinas and then just little uh chuck taylors these are my favorite because you don't have to actually tie the laces you see how they come they have the little elastic in the back. Mm hmm So who's excited to go to Wesley's birthday party? Does anyone else do this? Like, do your dogs have birthday parties? Wesley may have always celebrated his birthday since he was a baby. Uh, Sophia, we stopped at around year four or five. Uh, can't remember if the Thupple ever had a birthday party. <laughs> Are we playing favorites? I don't even know Mern's birthday, okay? <laughs> So we just got here to Mr. Pitt's adventure camp. It's called K9 Adventure Camp. And I don't know if you guys have been following my vlogs for a while, but um, I found Mr. Pitt um, when I started to have really bad behavioral issues with Sophia and Ernie. They would get into really big physical altercations where all of us would end up in some sort of emergency facility. I mean, I got, I've gotten hurt, Sophia's gotten hurt. Um, so it was a really tough time for us. So I find Mr. Pitt and he has this really cool facility in the colony, which is um, a city, sort of like a subsidy within Dallas. Um, and it's really cool because he boards them, you know, if you're going on vacation or if you go to work and you want to do like doggy daycare. Um, but he was like, hey, we noticed that Wesley's um, birthday's coming up. Do you mind if we have a birthday party for him? And I was like, I'm sorry, you want to have a birthday party for my child? 
um, yeah. <laughs> so we're here now and I wanted to give you guys kind of like a little mini tour. It's a great place for my dogs because they get out of the house, they socialize with other dogs, which is really important. I never knew that was a big deal. Um, the other dogs have to socialize with each other. So um, we're gonna go inside. I'll show you guys kind of how it's set up. And so he does different things where he'll crate certain dogs while others play and then he'll rotate them. Um, he'll walk them on a treadmill. He'll ha he has little pools. Um, they play, he teaches them things. So it's a lot of like, um, individualized education for each of the dogs depending on their behavior. So when you guys get here, this is what the outside of it looks like. And then we walk in. Look how cute this is. I wonder if Mern's on here. Oh, there she is. Look at that. <laughs> Look at these are my babies. <laughs> They're campers. You want to say hi? hi. <laughs> so look, you get a little, little window. What's going on in there? What's going on in there, huh? Hi, Mer. <laughs> Look, we're having a birthday party. Okay, so when you walk in, this is where the doggies stay, and they have accommodations for all sizes if you guys want to bring your dogs to camp. Hi, sweetheart. Why are you so pretty? You know, everyone is calm except you, huh? Hi, Mer. Hey, Milo. Want to say hi? You guys say hi? I promise you guys, this isn't a pillow. Or, oh! <laughs> the double! Wow! Hey, baby! Are they mean to you? Are they bullying you? All right, you guys, so you hear me talk about this man a lot and how much he's helped my family and my dogs, uh, but I don't think I've ever shown him to you guys. I've never properly introduced Rafael or Mr. Pitt to you, so uh, I think you guys should say hi. But y'all need to be really nice. Don't embarrass me and be on your best behavior, okay? Then I'll introduce you to my friend. You ready? Okay, let's do this. You wanna say hi? Hi, hello, my name is <laughs> Rafael, Mr. Pitt. I run a doggy daycare, uh, pet parenting classes. You don't need to have a dog for taking the classes. It's, it's just about learning how to communicate. Oh, so you can be prepared? The... Yes. If you're so like planning on getting a dog. If you're planning to get any dog, you should get the dog that is right for you, right for your energy, right for your lifestyle. Don't get four. Exactly. <laughs> Don't be emotional and get a dog and then you want to return. So, uh, buyer's remorse. <laughs> and also I have a daycare, a doggy date training, uh, uh, boarding facility. So I'm here at your service. Yeah. Isn't he great? I have to tell you guys, I think uh, one of my biggest things whenever I bring someone into my family, whether it's for a service or hiring them to do something, it has to be like family. You know, I have to have that trust and that confidence that they're going to contribute positively to my life or impact my life in a great way. Something that I'm lacking and they're only going to help in that regard. So. Rafael is someone that I've trusted my dogs with every time I go out of town, anytime I need them to do it. anything involving my dogs. I have four. It's not like you can go anywhere and be, you know, accommodated with <laughs> our special needs. So um, Rafael is great. Him and his family are, it's like a family business. You know, I go out of town and I know that they're an extension of my family when I'm away. So I'll leave his information in the description box below. But enough for this because I have a party to go to, okay? I just got home. The birthday party was a complete success. I have no idea where they are. I just know they're passed out and silent. So they had <laughs> an exciting day. I'll share some pictures with you guys. I don't know why my face has been so glowy to the point where it looks shiny and greasy, like really shiny and greasy. I think it's like all that awesome exfoliation I've been doing. Um, okay, so I just got home. I'm really tired. I'm gonna take some B12 and drink some coffee, and if that doesn't wake me up, I'm not gonna film any videos today. Um, I'm just gonna get ready for dinner. Um, so Parker and I are gonna go to Chamberlain's. There's two Chamberlain's here in Dallas, a steakhouse and then a seafood grill. And we have to celebrate um, a promotion at work. And I text him and I was like, hey, do you wanna go on a date night? 
or do you want to um, stay in and watch the movies? He's like, date night for sure. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm craving seafood. I already made these reservations. <laughs> Poor Parker. <laughs> He doesn't know what he got himself into, or he does, and then it's like, oh, poor Danny, he might be crazier than you think. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I can't shake it off and like not be tired, uh, you know what I was thinking though, and this is just my productivity brain. I'm like, well, I already have to put my face on to go out for date night. I might as well get, I might as well put on my face now, get the videos filmed. And then it's like knocking two birds with one stone. Knocking two birds, kicking two birds, knocking, knocking out two birds with one stone. <laughs> That's how you know I'm tired. I can't, I can't get a grasp of my words. I normally don't struggle with words. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drink some coffee. I'm gonna put on my makeup and then I'm gonna force myself to get some work done. I hope, I don't know, whatever you guys. I just wanted to check in and say, hey, I want to see where these nuggets are because they're like out. Oh look, I found one. Hey, did you have a good birthday? Do you want to show everyone your bow tie? You haven't shown everyone. Let's see, lift up your head. Oh, you okay? You drank too much water, huh? <sighs> so this is Wesley's bow tie. I had to flip it over, otherwise he'd never let you see it. It's baby blue with pizza slices on it. We got it from our friend Melanie in Australia. And Melanie has a dog. Her name is Apricot. She's the double's girlfriend. <laughs> Wesley, look at me. Wesley, show me your bow tie. Oh, why you look so handsome. Why you not look so handsome, huh, my babies? Why you look so handsome, huh? Where were you? You heard Apricot and you came running over, didn't you? You heard Apricot and you just hustled on over here, didn't you? Yes, you did. Where's your diaper? Where's your diaper? Crazy boy. So I went to develop some pictures at Walgreens yesterday and I'm so pissed. I think I'm gonna return them because I had them enlarged. But can you guys see like these lines across the image where you see like all, like these are all the print marks. How am I supposed to put this in my house? Isn't that awful? You can return an image, right? Wouldn't they just destroy it? Or can I take it in and then say, I wanna keep it to destroy it? Cause I don't want people having my pictures, it's just weird. But yeah, isn't that awful? It's like, oh, you can see it like that. Would you guys return it? I mean, I didn't check them when I picked them up yesterday. I just, I was running errands. I went in and out super fast. What would you do, Wesley? Would you return it? Would you return it? Yes, you would, wouldn't you? I probably have lipstick on my teeth. Um, I decided to get ready early. Um, our dinner reservations are at seven, but I'm always running out of time and I hate that and I don't wanna rush and right now it's raining so hard. I mean, you can't go out for five seconds without getting soaked, which is why I did a ponytail. I was like, mm-mm, I'm not risking the poodle hair. So I decided to wear this cute little turtleneck number. You guys, I shot from this catalog that I would always get at home called Venus. I ordered, I think, six different things. Five of the six shrank like four sizes when I washed them, or they got a hole in the fabric. Very weird, very cheap quality stuff. This was the only thing that I mildly like, and so I'm just kind of forcing myself to use it. Um, it's a little, do you hear that? That's thunder, lightning, whatever. Um, it's kind of, uh, you see that? It's kind of, um, what's what, what am I thinking? It's like walking around with a spotlight, you know? I love yellow, but I'm like, mm, was it a good choice? So this is the outfit, um, just slick back hair. Um, this dress, I think it was like maybe 30 or 40 bucks. And then these new shoes from DSW, they're the same style of shoes that you guys have seen before, like in the cobalt blue and the lavender, but they are calfskin in leopard print. Aren't they cute? Okay, I came into the bathroom to give you guys better lighting on my makeup. My eyes 
were a complete and total accident. I used the um, Puppy Love palette, the Clover, the newest Clover palette from um, Too Faced. And I was trying to prove a point about how it only has six colors, but you could do a lot with it. Um, <laughs> you could do this with it. <laughs> You could do a full on black eye with that palette. I'm not hating it, but I was not going for a makeup this dark. On my lips, I have Sugar Daddy from Too Faced. This is my nose highlighter. I think I wanna change my earrings. I don't think they're big enough. What do you think? Yeah, I think I might change them. But other than that, that's what we got going on. We're gonna to go to Chamberlain's Seafood Grill. And I think that's it. But you guys are coming along. Look how white my teeth look. Kind of excited. I forgot how much I love this lip color. Did you have a long day? Is that why you're so tired? The minute we got home, you've been sleeping. All you're doing is sleeping. Yeah, you are, you sleepyhead. Hey, you guys, happy Saturday. It's seven o'clock. I have been up probably since 5.30 because I'm a creeper. Um, I'm just in the habit of getting up early. And I told you guys in a previous vlog that my dogs have become excessively delirious and probably from like four until I actually get up, they will cry. They have like these little bouts of crying. And so the Chihuahua starts first, um, the Topo, and then everyone else chimes in, but they don't like just bark. The Topo, it's like a cry howl bark. And then Ernie just howls. Um, Sophia has like a yelpy bark, which is the most annoying one of the four. And she won't stop. Like she won't take breaks. The other three kind of get tired and raspy and they'll stop. Um, Sophia won't. She'll just keep going. And then Wesley has like, it's kind of a bark, but it's, there's like a little whine at the end. Like, like I don't want to be barking, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> Loyalty. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So we went to Chamberlain's Fish Grill, Fish Market Grill or whatever last night. I swear, when Parker showed up to pick me up, it was raining so hard. I was like, we really don't have to go. Like, I don't want to die. It was raining so hard to the point where like the wipers don't even work. By the time they swing over, it's already rained that much where you just, you can't see. Um, and then... I think one of the most shocking things to me when I moved to Texas was how loud the thunder is. It sounds like it's next door. It is booming and I mean the whole house shakes. So whenever there is um, thunder that loud, my dogs don't get scared, but I get scared that, um, I get scared to leave them alone um, because they sound that loud because they're like down the street. and. You, sure enough, like whenever there's a storm like yesterday, you'll drive around and a few days later you'll see the house that actually caught on fire, you know, and stuff like that. It's it's pretty tragic because it's unpredictable, you know, and it's people down the street. Uh, you're like, oh wow, that's why it was so loud. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy the way weather happens. Um, so we went to Chamberlain's um, and we had oysters and crab cakes and uh, uh, mahi mahi and I don't know what else but uh, Parker had to work this morning so um, we didn't stay out too late but let's be honest we're the couple that makes reservations at like 4 30. <laughs> we were joking about it yesterday um, that we had a seven o'clock reservation I was like this is weird isn't it like this is like normal people daytime the people at the restaurant were all over 70. we were the youngest ones there and we were like <gasps> Oh man, this is a this is a this is a, this is a fun night. <laughs> but we both um, usually get up pretty early. By five o'clock, we're both up. Um, anyway, so today I have to get some work done before um, this event we have to go to. Um, so every year, Parker plays in this um, breast cancer charity golf tournament type thing basically the guys play golf and the women raise money with silent auctions and stuff it's supposed to be super fun um his best friend plays in it uh they it's just i don't know i think it's become like a tradition or something so we'll be doing that this afternoon it's supposed to keep raining do people still golf in the rain and by do people still golf i mean do people still when they golf in the rain <laughs> 
<gasps> I'm assuming if there's like lightning or something, they won't. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it's just for fun. I think the money's already been raised or it gets raised during the silent auction, which I donated a basket to and I was gonna show you guys, but Parker already took it. So I went to Michael's, I bought this giant wicker basket and I put a T3 hair dryer in it, two full-size Glam Glow masks, um, a naked palette, like four Urban Decay lipsticks, like 10 Urban Decay lip glosses, two full-size perfumes, um, a Too Faced um, celebration anniversary palette. Um, what else? I mean, there's like a thousand dollars worth of makeup in that basket. So that was my donation to the silent auction. Hopefully it does well because it's for a good cause. Um, but anyway, yeah, right now we got up super early because the dogs were freaking out. Um, I wanted to show you guys something and I don't know if you guys will find it useful, but I don't think that Texas is the only place that has these rules. I apologize in advance for my hair too. I fell asleep with wet hair. Do you guys remember I had my hair in a ponytail last night? I put so much hairspray in there that I took out the hair tie and my hair was still, <laughs> still in the same place. So I was like, I can't go to sleep with this helmet on. Um, so that's how you get this amazing, amazing view. So, okay. Texas is a very firearms friendly state. Everyone carries, everyone, everyone, um, in their cars, in their purse, on their person, everyone carries. So it's also a very big uh, sports and music state, or my city, Dallas is. And so there's a ton of live music, there's a ton of like pavilions and venues and, and games every day of the week. Um, so they have a very strict purse policy when you're going to these events. I always forget that. Um, for some reason, I always forget. I always have a little purse when I go to like concerts and stuff because I don't want to carry my big ass bag. But um, even my little purses are too big for those types of events. So I grew up in the 90s. I grew up with like the soda sneakers and the wide leg jeans, um, the birth of the low rise, um, the baby tees, but also the clear plastic bags. So there's always been a very soft spot for me with clear plastic bags. So the other day I went to um, a high school football game and I had to walk back to my car to drop off my purse. That kind of made me feel a little uncomfortable because if someone sees me walking through a parking garage to leave my purse and then leave, it just, it made me nervous. But I should have known better. I just assumed, oh, it's a high school game, so they're not going to have those strict um, purse policies. I was wrong. So I did a little search on Amazon and I found the cutest concert venue pavilion sporting event appropriate purse for ten dollars you're welcome okay so our rule i think is eight by five is the biggest size that your purse can be and width wise i think it's an inch and a half or two inches is how thick it can be this was ten bucks how cute is it you're like danny it looks like it was ten dollars so anyway, when I was uh, probably like 16, my mom bought me a see-through baby uh, backpack, like mini backpack. It was my favorite thing ever. I think when I moved out, I was like, man, I wish I could find that. Um, so this is really cute. It has like the, um, the strap or whatever, so you can hang it like a regular purse and totally forget about it. It's the perfect size for, uh, where's my phone? I could show you guys. It's the perfect size for um, if you have like the plus. So all you can put in here is your phone, uh, some cash, maybe your ID, it fits perfectly. Now if you have a cover like mine, mine's an anti-gravity, you guys always ask me about it. It's anti-gravity, so it's sticky. It helps me because I always drop everything. This does not let me drop anything. It just stays. It sticks on to tile. It sticks on to glass. Um, they're, they're awesome. And they're like, I don't know, six bucks. Anyway, so isn't that cute? I think they have clear, like a clear pink too. It looked 
horrendous but yeah I was like oh my god I need to tell my pandas about this in case you know you guys like to go to games I know it's football season <laughs> that I know it's football season um, if you guys enjoy going to concerts it can be like your event purse and the um, chain comes off let's see if I can do this with one hand so the chain comes off and then you could just have like this little thing in your purse um, I don't know. It's cute. I, I really liked it. <laughs> I really liked it. I hope you guys like it. So it is seven o'clock. I have some work to do um, before we go to this golf thing. Um, but my head hurts. So I just took some Tylenol. Hopefully that'll work. I'm also drinking coffee. That always works. Um, we'll hang out for a little bit. I'll probably like make my bed, do a couple of chores around the house. Um, and then jump in the shower and and get ready for today. What do you guys wear to to golf? My boyfriend was like, "Well, golf clothes." I was like, "Yay, sports!" <laughs> like a like a white outfit or like like a white polo and like a little tennis skirt. Like I don't. <laughs> what do you wear to golf? I'm not playing. I don't think I'm even gonna be on the course. Um, I'm gonna be golfing. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I do have a question for you guys. You have all given me amazing life hacks like shaving with coconut oil, um, using witch hazel on my armpits as a toner. Like you guys have helped me, you guys have helped me get through life. So I need you to come in again, help a sister out and tell me, how do you clean white sneakers? with whatever you have at home. Like, don't be telling me to go to the mall, you know, at that little kiosk and have them clean my sneakers. No, like with what you have at home, how do you clean them? Because, don't judge me. So these are my little white sneakers that I thought I could wear today, but they're really grungy because a girl wears her stuff, you know? <laughs> don't you get people that like don't actually use their things? I live in my stuff. I breathe it. Um, a lot of people when they, um, ride in my car they're like oh I'll, I'll, it's okay i'll just i'll finish it really quick i'm like no you can eat in my car you can drink in my car you can do whatever you want in my car we use our things around here so yeah how do you clean this you see that yuckiness around it i don't care necessarily about the rubber because whatever that's just what you walk on but like on the actual shoe i don't know i'm about to experiment with a bunch of stuff at home and i don't think that's very wise. <laughs> oh, well, you guys are here. This is going to be in my monthly favorites. I have never tried a facial wipe as good as this one. This, do you guys remember I used to swear by the Clinique ones? They come in that pink pack. They're really good. And I use them when I microblade because they, they're the only wipes that made my face actually feel clean. <sighs> Ursa Major, you've changed my life. These wipes are brilliant. They come individually wrapped. They're on a bamboo, bamboo, <laughs> bamboo, um, uh, cloth. And, uh, they're just, man, your face feels clean, moisturized, hydrated, uh, toned. I mean, it's just, it's a crazy way to describe how clean your face feels without actually having to use any cleanser. So if you guys see these, nap some up. They are awesome. But seriously, tell me how to do this. I need your help at, uh, life right now. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Last thing, I promise. Last thing, probably not the last thing, but just this, this is making me feel better. Um, I wanted to show you guys the cardigan that I'm wearing. Um, it's very, I'm very weird with my clothes sometimes. I have clothes that I like to wear like a robe or for like the quick morning drop off for um, my oldest son at school. And it's very hard for me to find one that is comfy and loungy enough, but doesn't look too much like a pajama. So this was my latest Old Navy find. Pretty sure I'm gonna live in it for the rest of my life. So I found this little cardigan at Old Navy. Isn't that awesome? It has these um, ties, which I'm assuming you scrunch it up and do some sort of like drapey look. I just like it like that. I was actually tempted to pull these out, but isn't that cool? The sleeve is long enough too. I got it in medium because I wanted it to be like comfy and a little oversized, but yeah, it's from Old Navy. I think I paid like 14 bucks for it. I went with my girlfriends and I was like, yeah, I need to tell my pandas about this because it's awesome. Okay, you guys, one last thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you.
Okay, so change of plans. Clearly, I've been very productive today. Um, and by productive, I mean not at all. Um, and I forgot I was vlogging. So lots of different plans happening. The first thing is the um, golf thing that I told you we were going to got canceled because it's still raining. So apparently we're like half underwater right now. Everything is flooded and wet and moist. I know how much you guys like that word. Um, so change of plans, we're gonna just head out to eat. And then this evening, we're doing an adult style pajama party. Not like that, Cochinas. Um, we're just gonna hang out and watch a football game. Yay, sports! <laughs> Do you think it would be obvious if I like take my laptop and get some work done? I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, I was walking out the door and I told the P, I'm like, look, I haven't even done an outfit of the day. So I'm about to amaze you guys with my $10 flannel from Costco. The same jeans you always see in all my vlogs, all my Instagram posts, all my Insta stories. And then the most amazing gift that I got from one of my great friends. You ready? Brace yourselves. Okay, so I actually got this flannel last year at Costco. Um, I think it was like 10 bucks. They have them again this year in different colors. The flannel's a little bit different. This is more of like a warm, soft, like blanket flannel. If you guys have ever had, um, what are those blankets called? Like, uh, they're not swaddle blankets, but like little baby flannels, that's exactly what it feels like. The ones this year are less flannelly. They're a little bit more just regular cotton, but they still have that finish to them. Um, these are the express jeans that I'm always wearing. And then my friend Nusha actually gave me these rain boots um, earlier in the year. So we had this whole talk about when you get pregnant, how your foot grows and no one tells you about it. Um, and she was like, yeah, after I had my two sons, most of my shoes don't fit. But now her, f but her foot size pre-kids is my foot size now. So I'm reaping all the benefits. Anyway, we're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory, have some late lunch, early dinner, I don't know, and then uh, have some fun later today, but it looks like this lady's not getting any work done. I can't say I'm hating it though. Kind of loving the weather, loving the quality of time, and I know I'm gonna love the heck out of my cheesecake meal, just saying. Also, this is a sneak peek at a fall clothing haul that I'm gonna do for you guys very soon. So far, everything has been a winner, so I can't wait to share it with you guys, but in case you guys are curious, I'm kind of on a corduroy kick. Ah, <sighs> you guys. witnessing the face of someone that is currently puffy because of a nap. Um, can't say I'm ashamed, but now we're late. So, I can't say it, it bothers me that I'm missing a little bit of a football game though. Um, so this is how the rest of the evening's gonna play out. You ready? We're gonna get there, we're gonna be like, hey, we missed you guys, football, no! Drink, Shh, fall asleep on the couch. This is what the rest of my afternoon's gonna look like. I can just feel it. Um, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep it interesting for you guys, okay? If I can't, I'll see you tomorrow, but I can sure as hell make this promise. Tomorrow morning, donuts. You know which donuts? Those donuts, yeah, those donuts. And we're gonna be there so early, they're not gonna be sold out of my favorite ones. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. You know why? Because tomorrow is Jesus and tacos. And donuts. I might be a little heavier tomorrow. But anyway, kind of like my nap voice. Do you guys like my nap voice? <sighs> you guys, I think I'm gonna be hungry too. Which is weird because the reason I took my nap is because I ate the worst lunch ever. Did you guys see my lunch? Wasn't it delicious? Is that Cajun pasta or spi spicy pasta? Chipotle pasta from Cheesecake Factory and baked potato soup and celebration cheesecake. And then I wonder why my pants don't fit anymore. I love you guys.
is 8 o'clock. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Don't judge me, Cochinas. Okay, so, you know, sometimes in life you have priorities which involve getting donuts. So, a girl doesn't have time to shower and pick a new outfit to get donuts. And I woke up late. I gave this one a bath because he peed all over his crib. Um, and uh, my priority was to get to Donut Box before they sold out. So, if you can find it in your heart to forgive me for wearing the same $10 Costco shirt, then I really appreciate it. We can move on with life. But do you guys want to see my 11 donuts? 11 donuts. Don't need to talk about where the 12th one is. Parker. My bad. <laughs> look at this. Witness this deliciousness. These are really good. I know they look like, like they're for kids, and I say they are for my kids, but we all know where they're going. I decided to mix it up a little bit with these two. I'll have to report back. I'll do a donut review. <laughs> but these are my favorite. So if you guys are in like North Dallas, Donut Box, I promise you guys, it's gonna change your life. Do you wanna say good morning? Do you wanna say good morning? Hi, Chubber Nobbers. Show me your cinnamon rolls. Show me your cinnamon rolls. He's like, why are you talking about pastries when the only ones you need are right here on my back? Huh, Bubba? Why are you so handsome? Why are you so handsome? Why are you not so handsome? Who is this sniffing me up? Who is this sniffing me up? Yeah, you know where the love is. Carbs. The carbs. All right, y'all. Today's a busy day. I have to do the work that I've been postponing for the last, like, four days. Uh, I have to go say hi to Jesus. I have to eat some tacos. I have to dry this one. That's priority number one before he falls asleep and pees on me. Um, what else? What else do we need to do? Church? Tacos. Tacos? Work? Tacos. Taco <laughs> tacos twice? Uh, maybe some tacos, actually. Yeah, it's been raining for like a week, nonstop. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm being hyperbolic, maybe three days, but still. It's kind of throwing a wrench in the plants. It makes you sleepy, you know? It makes you sleepy. That doesn't help that I'm always tired, too. All right, you guys, I have to get started with my day and change out of my 24-hour outfit. I love you. Hey, hey, you guys, it is 12 o'clock. So I just got finished filming two videos for you guys. I did this get ready with me, and I also did a review on the adorable little clover palette. Um, if you guys are wondering what's on my lips, I'm wearing Rue Barbarella from Soap and Glory. If you guys are wondering about this amazing leopard print sweater, it'll be linked in the description box below. My nails, all right, all that stuff, you'll know where to find it. But I need to do some up close swatches of the Clover palette, which is gonna be an easy breezy piece of cake because there's only six colors in this palette. Um, but I am starving. Um, we need to have some sort of semblance of real food. I think all we've had to eat today is um, coffee and donuts. Pretty sure Parker ate an apple, but he's just, he's just showing off. He's just showing off his awesome dietary habits. I, on the other hand, I know how to wait. I wish I had an apple. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna run downstairs and take a few pictures of this look. Um, then I'm gonna run upstairs and do a couple swatches of this palette, and we will probably head out for some fun. And by fun, I mean consumption. Um, at some point, we need to go say hi to Jesus today. Um, and I think that's it. So um, let's run downstairs, take a few pics, uh, pics? Who says that anymore? What am I on Bumble? Um, so we'll go downstairs, take a few pictures, um, and then do some swatches. Um, but that's it. I think that's it. Are you guys having a good day? I think I'm having a good hair day. The problem is, when I go outside right now to take a picture, it's all gonna go I'm gonna look like a wet poodle or like a wet leopard. <laughs> Alright you guys, it is 12.30 and we are heading out the door, but... The double wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day. So it was like, the double, your sweater is old. Your dog friends are not gonna be able to find it anymore. So he's like, mom, I feel like you're imposing on my rights right now, but in Spanish. Um, so this is the double's outfit of the day. We had like a significant weather drop. I think it was like, I don't know, 100 last week. Today it's 60. So um, his arthritis acts up. Um, then his hips and his back hurt and he refuses to come upstairs. If you guys are wondering what's on my face, I'm actually using a Smart Shade product from All May. Oh, you guys, I'm kind of in love. I think I may almost like it as much as Urban Decay's One and Done. 
that's saying a lot. Anyway, so this is the doubles outfit of the day. He's wearing his little Martha Stewart sweater from like 10 years ago. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. You ready for this? This is gonna be a mother and son outfit of the day clip. So this is that Target sweater I was telling you about. I can't stop talking about it. Like I hate it so much I love it or I love it so much I hate it. I, I can't decide. Then I'm wearing Sim Parker Smith denim. This is my favorite like comfort jean brand. Um, I feel like it's a little flattering or more flattering than most brands on me. <laughs> and these boots, these are a funny story. These boots I've had since I was probably 14 or 15 and I like them so much that I made my mom buy them for me in the wrong size. They didn't have my size so I got them bigger. Well long story short after I had my two sons my foot grew and I can still actually use them. So these are some boots that I actually take to the same shoe cobbler every fall and winter and he's like ma'am you really gotta re <laughs> replace these boots. I just love them so much. I love their story. I love the way they're constructed. I mean, if they weren't good quality boots, they wouldn't still be around, right? Right, Bunker? Ready? Roll call. Roll call. Let's see. One, two, three, four cinnamon rolls. One, two, three, four cinnamon rolls. How many rolls do you have? Huh? How many rolls do you have? There you are. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Bunks. A lot of you guys ask me about their bar collars, which they wear um, not every day, but you know, they do get their use. Um, they're from a brand called PetSafe that's available at PetSmart, and they don't um, shock them, they vibrate. So what they do is, if your dog barks, it vibrates. If he continues to bark, it vibrates longer, and if he barks again, it vibrates even longer. So they kind of, it's like behavioral training. I don't know why mine won't stop barking, but it definitely keeps it a little bit at bay when needed, especially if like people are over at the house that they've never met before. Um, but yeah, they, they just vibrate. They're safe. Um, they're a little expensive, but they last forever if your dogs don't destroy things. You guys know how much I love you and how I sacrifice myself to do some coffee break research on the best places to dine. And I almost died. Um, so Parker and I are going to sacrifice ourselves for you guys right now. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Do you have a life insurance policy on me? <laughs> We're taking a tour of the parking lot lost right now. Lot. Um, <laughs> so, Sunday... Oh, Stop it! <laughs> I'm dating a 12 year old. <laughs> so we are going to a new taco place. Because we kept going to that other one, you remember the five flights, high flights, tight flights? What's it called? Uh, three, flights. three flights. Three flights of stairs, tacos, or whatever. <laughs> Very good. But I was like, we've tried everything on this menu. We're not doing our due diligence as consumers um, by eating here every Sunday. So we're coming to this new place called Crush Taco. I don't know too, but if there's crush in the name of something, I kind of need it in my life. So, let's see, do you guys see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? There it is, bam! That's what's gonna go in our tummies right now. I have no idea what kind of tacos it is. I could be failing you guys as a Mexican and eating like some weird stuff like kimchi in my tacos, okay? So, pray for me and let's go. All right, you guys, it's uh, two o'clock. I have a tragic update for you. The taco place was probably like a soft six, like a D, maybe a C minus, just based on food alone, flavor, composition, everything. I should give it a zero, 
because my chicken taco had a staple in it. Like a metal staple that binds paper together. And I bit down on it so hard that my last molar at the top has a giant crack in it. So if I wake up tomorrow with a horrible molar ache, do you say molar ache or just toothache? Because it's a molar. Why molar does it matter? Pain. Molar pain? Molar pain. This is like yesterday. Verb versus noun. Oh, it's complicated. It's, it's complicated. We don't need to talk about it right now because it's uh, you would judge us. Um, so we're putting gas right now um, and it's only two o'clock. We still have to go to church at five. What else do we need to do? Look at this know. stud over here. We need filler. Filler? Filler. We need some filler before church and after church. Like in the form of food? Look at my double chin. Is that pretty, babe? I can't even. Does this, does this make me, does this make you love me? It's my favorite part. <laughs> it's my most favorite thing. My fat patch? I love it. <laughs> you know what he says to me? He's like, you're so pretty in the morning. I'm like, oh. He's like, you're like shiny and puffy. He calls me Kirby. Like, it's not bad enough I'm not wearing like a baby pink right now, but he basically made me sound like I look like Kirby. If you don't okay. know who Kirby is, look it up. He's kind of adorable. <laughs> So it's two o'clock, we're gonna drink coffee, we're getting gas, we're being super productive, we're probably gonna go home and not be productive, and then we'll go say hi to Jesus in a few hours. Oh, we have to figure out our trip. That's true. A lot you of research. Guys, Parker's gonna help me figure out my end of the year bucket list. We're gonna check, check, check some things off of there. So we gotta do some research. Yeah. Gotta do some research. I really like the sweater. If you guys see any thumbnails on my YouTube channel of beauty videos where I'm wearing this sweater, just fair warning, I'm gonna mention this sweater like 17 times in that one video. I really like it. It's from Target. It was like 12 bucks. No, maybe like 20 bucks. It's like 20 bucks. Pretty sure Parker hates it, but it's okay. It goes with my puffiness. <laughs> it's soft, right? Like it's, it's obnoxiously tacky, but it's really soft. Do you wanna be my vlog, sir? <laughs> We are leaving church. Me and this stud over here. Um, okay, so you guys know the same old spiel I tell you every time I leave church. But today in particular, I actually posted it on my Instagram because the priest read a poem called I Am Christian? I think it was called? Hold on, let me check my Instagram. I'm asleep. <laughs> You're asleep? Uh, I Am Christian. It's called I Am Christian. I will... Maybe I'll add like a screenshot or I'll link the poem because it's an actual website in the description box below. But it's awesome because it says, I'm not Christian because I'm better than you or I'm holier or I'm more awesome because I'm like, you know, holy, whatever. It's I'm Christian because I'm flawed. I sought it, I seek out God because I'm flawed. And it just makes so much sense. It make me, it, it make me feel good. <laughs> Made me feel great. This one liked it too. Look at that stud. Mean, right? Stop looking, cochinos. Okay, so right now we are on our way to get a couple things at the store. Um, I'm and then. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Like, I am painting you under this, like, majestic Prince Charming light. The first chance you get to talk on my vlog, he talks about gas. You, know, you already called me Kirby, or I called myself Kirby. Um, okay, so then we're gonna head home. I actually wanna open two packages for you guys on camera because I got them at my PO box and I have a feeling they're gonna be really awesome. So um, we'll run a few errands, go home, I'll open those two packages for you guys, and then I'll say goodnight. Because you guys, this vlog has been long enough. My little thing up at the top that tells me how many minutes I have left on this SD card is already telling me like, listen, you've, sp you've spoken way too much already. You need to cut back, stop talking about the pink leopard print, move on, bury it, just let it go. So, yeah, where are we going? Since there's a CVS over here. Oh yeah, down the street. I would just assume Target has it too. Or do you want to like, get the works? Maybe I get some stuff from my desk. Oh. Oh, like a little first aid kit? Yeah. That's genius. Tomorrow, he 
starts at his new position, not that kind. Um, so it's very exciting. I already asked him, I was like, can I take out your picture in the morning before work? Holding up a chalkboard tells us like how old you are, your weight, and your favorite color. You know how moms do for little kids? I don't think you guys want to see the face he made at me. He was like, but uh, it's still gonna happen, you guys. I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna show you guys on Instagram, okay? Just, just don't tell him. <laughs> hey, hey you guys, it's seven o'clock. Uh, we are about to check out of this vlog, but before we do so, I want to show you guys two packages that I received at my P.O. box. The first one I accidentally opened, I wasn't sure what it was gonna be, and the minute I started opening it, I was like, y'all need to see this. I need to share the happiness of what's in this box. Andrea in Massachusetts sent the sweetest, most thoughtful, adorable gift ever. Everything in here is with a theme. It's adorable. So, that's the card. What's in this bag is going to change your life. I'm not sure if you're ready for this. If you hear loud smacking sounds, each of my dogs is around the table eating a treat. Are you ready to have your life changed? Your life rocked? Your, um, your heart might grow like three sizes? You ready? Look, he's so chubby. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look how chubby he is. Look, he's like, he's just all chubby. I bet this is what I look like in the morning when I wake up. That Parker's like, oh, you're so cute and puffy. Look, I bet you that this is how cute I look, which is why he says that, right? <laughs> Isn't this the sweetest thing? Look at his little tiny paws. And he has blush on. This is about how much blush I put on every day. Aw. Okay, so there's more. Okay, there is also unicorn gum it's called fairy tale fruit there were three packs of this in this box one of them just mysteriously was consumed it is delicious it tastes like juicy fruit on crack like it's a little tangy and tart super good thank you andrea for that we also have a sleeping pack this is like an overnight cream overnight cream a night cream from tony moly but i mean it doesn't matter what's on the inside it was on the outside that counts. <laughs> How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? <laughs> it's a moisturizer in the form of a panda. Just when I thought I was getting to the bottom of the box, you wanna say hello? Here, they can't see you because you're short. Say hello. Say hello. I'm Sophie LaRue Mulberg. Sophie LaRue LaRue LaRue. Hola. Lili Sola. Lili Sola. Okay, just when I thought I was getting to the bottom of the box, there's more and it's food. These are actually really good. I buy them for my kids at the Korean supermarket, along with other things that I like from the Korean supermarket. Um, and then we have some face masks, um, and they're all super cute little chubby animals. Look it, they're all chubby. A panda, a raccoon, and a bunny. Y'all know my addiction to sheet masks. And then I was like, oh, look how cute this little cosmetic pouch is. There's stuff inside. Panda socks, little panda socks. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. And then, <sighs> do you know how many times I've seen this on Instagram and I wanna click the ad, like click the ad to buy what it's promoting? It's one of those little things that you put around your cable so that it doesn't fray. But it's a panda with a chubby little nub and tail. Look at the little trunky tail. Isn't that cute? So I think you put your cable, like your charging cable in here so that it doesn't like, um, you know, <laughs> fray is the right word. This is the last thing. Saving the best for last, y'all. So it looks like this. And then you're like, wait, but what is that? Oh, let me tell you. These are all little individual pandas doing something cute. 
So there's this one. He's like, yeah, let me raise my hand or paw. Then look at this one. This is probably me. Face plant. Boom. Do you see? Look at how cute he is. He's doing a little face plant. And then look at this one. Living his best life, accessorizing. Yeah, he is. <laughs> There's like five more you guys. All right, there's this one doing his little funny face. This is my six-year-old right there Then there's this one just kind of relaxing look Sitting on his back paws like yeah, just relaxing just living my best life and relaxing Okay, then we have these two just being kind of cute doing a little flip Laying on his paws just super cute, right? Wait for it. This is the best one pretty sure this panda's twerking. So this is the hardest working panda of the bunch. <laughs> Andrea, thank you so much for sending so much love through. I really appreciate it. I've told you guys a million times, you don't need to send me anything. Everything, anything that you send is highly appreciated. But if you really want to reach out, send me a card or a letter. I love to hear from you guys. I'd love to get to know you. But this is beyond words with how thoughtful and sweet and adorable and cute and delicious. Um, but seriously, just one more look. Just one more look at this. Look at, look he's so soft. Isn't he precious? Look how cute he is. Look at a little nub and tail. We definitely need to give that little guy a name. We have one more package to open, but sending you Andrea giant, giant, giant hugs. All right, this is from Mila Yang from Minnesota. All right, you guys, the last package is from Mila in Minnesota, and it says, please read first. There's a little envelope in here. I'm nervous, Mila, so mysterious. Let's see what it says. Maybe it's top secret. So Mila just sent a really sweet letter um, in response to the vlog that I filmed for you guys where I said, I suck as a mom, I suck as a girlfriend, I'm sucking at life, I need help, and I don't know how to ask for it. And uh, she wanted to reach out and say that she's feeling the same way and that I'm not alone and that she saw something and immediately thought about me. So let's see what that something is. Oh my God. It says, Namaste home with dogs. <laughs> Look at that. You just say with a lot of dogs. And it's like my favorite color ever, and it's the size of the amount of coffee I drink in a day. Mila, you are so super thoughtful. Thank you so much for this lovely mug, but most importantly for um, your kindness and your empathy. And uh, it's always nice to know that sharing matters because maybe by sharing, you remind someone that they are not alone or you remind me that I'm not alone and I really appreciate it. Like I told you guys, these gifts mean the world to me. I have a little special place in my office that I keep everything that you guys send me. It means a lot, I treasure it, I really appreciate it. But like I said a million times, you don't need to, you don't need to shower me with gifts. You really, really, really don't. A kind letter, a tweet, or a direct message, it, it's, it's all just as valuable. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I love that you take the time to, you take the time out of your day to be kind to me and to, to be supportive and to be a friend and it does not go by unnoticed. Um, it's, it's really special. We got something special here, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. It was a little long. I mean, we started on Wednesday, so I apologize in advance if this is a three hour vlog. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, anything and everything that you saw in this vlog will be listed and linked in the description box below. But other than that, Sophia. So Sophia's betraying my love with the boyfriend. But you know what? We got backup right here. We got a tag in. Oh, now you want to come? We're tagging in Bopo for the outro of this video. Do you know what to say? You want to practice your English? Diles. Si encontraron este video útil, aprendieron algo, o aunque sea se divirtieron, por favor, denos la patita para arriba y suscríbanse si no lo han hecho aún. Pero por ahorita, este cafecito ya se terminó. <laughs> All right, you guys, you know the drill. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. 
Oh yeah, all right. You wanna do a roll count? Hmm? Hey, cinnamon rolls. Do you wanna do, do you wanna do a roll call? Of your cinnamon roll? You wanna do a roll call? No, this is embarrassing. You know, they loved your video. Do you wanna say thank you for watching your video? Hmm? They really liked it. Hey, give me those dreamy eyes. Give me those dreamy eyes. Mm, I love you. Mm.